What's up everybody? So it's been about a month that I've owned the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure and by this point in time I would say I've had enough time spent with this microphone to the point where I can really wrap my head around this mic and decide for myself whether I enjoy this microphone or I regret picking it up. Now of course this is my personal experience and opinion on this microphone so if there's anything that I say about this mic that upsets you just keep in mind this is my opinion and doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bad microphone or you shouldn't go and pick it up. It is just my experience, my opinion on the Lewitt LCT 440. Now, before we begin, let me go ahead and pull this microphone out so that we can just get a visual of this microphone that we are talking about. That's one thing that I actually really enjoyed about the LCT 440 is the overall presentation. The fact that this microphone comes with a high quality carrying pouch and the shock mount that comes with this microphone is actually pretty amazing. I love how compact it is compared to the NT1. As you can tell by just looking at this setup right here, it's much more bulky looking. Whereas the LCT 440 Pure, it's really, really compact. It looks amazing when it's on the stand. And of course, I know that's not everything, but it does help that the microphone just looks beautiful and is very, very compact. Not to mention the green capsule that's in this microphone is beautiful. I really, really like the aesthetics of this microphone. The square body, very compact, just looks rugged. It kind of has a gaming aesthetic. Um, you might like that, you may not like that, but for me, I really like the way that this microphone looks. I actually really, I prefer the way that this mic looks over the NT1, but again, looks aren't everything it really does come down to how the microphone sounds and well how does this microphone sound now there's going to be some people that like the characteristics of this microphone and there's going to be some people that are going to absolutely despise it now this compared to the nt1 it is substantially more brighter i've noticed that's the first thing you'll notice when you plug these microphones in side by side and record the nt1 sounds a lot more natural whereas the lct 440 just sounds almost like it's already been post-processed it sounds like it hasn't EQ on it. It sounds like if you were to take the NT1 signal and then boost the upper frequencies by four, five decibels, it is substantially brighter than the NT1. Now, while I do tend to gravitate towards brighter microphones and at the end of the day, just overall prefer the way that they sound, this microphone is a little too bright for my liking. Now, a lot of you might even think that this microphone sounds better on my voice compared to the NT1, but where the NT1 just outshines this microphone is if I wanted to have that brighter sound that the LCT has, I can easily replicate that in post with an EQ. All I would have to do is boost the upper frequencies and I can, for the most part, obtain a pretty similar sound to the 440 Pure, but unlike the NT1, this microphone just cannot capture a natural sound. So I feel like with the NT1, there is a lot of versatility. So if I wanted to have a brighter sound, then I could easily do that in post. But on this microphone, you're pretty much stuck with one sound. It's going to sound bright no matter what. Whatever you put through this thing, it's going to have a nice airy high end. And again, that might be something that you prefer. And if that is something that you try to aim for, well then the 440 pair is probably the microphone for you. For myself, for the most part, I find myself recording on the NT1 a lot more than the 440 because of that versatility. And actually, as of lately, I find myself doing a lot less post-processing than I I normally would have. As of lately, I really only have been using plugins to control the dynamics of the recording. So plugins like a compressor and a limiter, and I haven't been doing any EQing or DSing with this microphone. Whereas with the 440 Pure, I absolutely would have to use a DSer because this microphone is substantially more sibilant than the NT1. A lot of people complain about the sibilance on the NT1, and let me tell you, you do not know sibilance <laughs> until you have used the 440 40 peer. This microphone absolutely will require using a DSer. So the fact that I don't have to do as much or sometimes even any post-processing with the NT1, that is the biggest reason why I stick to this microphone and don't use the 440 peer as much. Now that doesn't mean that I'm going to get rid of this microphone. I still love the way that this microphone sounds, but for myself, the NT1 just fits my voice so, so much better. It's fun to have this microphone around in case I want to track somebody else with this thing or 
or put this thing to the test with another microphone or the NT1 because these two get compared a lot of the times. So I'm not gonna get rid of this thing. I'm still gonna hold on to it, but more than likely in these videos, in my music, whatever I'm doing that records, that requires recording my voice, I'm probably going to stick to using the NT1. And again, I'm just going to say one last time that this is my personal experience and opinion on the LCT440 Pure, so it doesn't necessarily mean that what I'm saying is concrete. And of course, there's probably going to be people that are going to hate the NT1 and have a whole lot of things to say about it, but I personally enjoy the NT1 the most out of pretty much any microphone that I've used aside from the TLM 103. All right, I think that about wraps it up. If you haven't already yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon beside it so that you can stay notified for whenever I drop any of my upcoming videos. With that being said, I'll see you all in my next one. Take care, everybody. Peace out.